hey what's up guys today i am very excited to talk about some of the new improvements which have been done in the latest version of laravel there are quite a few artisan improvements that taylor has tweeted about and when i went through them i thought wow these are great improvements and i should definitely talk about them in a video what i feel and how they are going to help me and most probably it is going to help you as well so let's get started right from the basics of creating a new application and see how the experience has been improved for a developer so the first thing as i said will be to create a new laravel project so because i don't have the laravel binary i will use composer create project to pull down the latest version of laravel and i'm going to name my project as new underscore project so let's hit enter so the installation is complete and immediately i can see these things are something which are different these nice dotted lines on whatever is happening after the you know the um, dump out load is executed right the package discovery these are you know, niceties that they have added it feels a little better obviously and the first thing or rather the first command which i would like to talk about is php artisan about so this is a beautiful way of knowing what the application is configured as of now so when you run this command it gives you certain kinds of information for, ex for example a few parameters about the environment so i can see that the application name is laravel which is nothing but what i understand is this so if i run this command again obviously it shows me that the name has changed the composer version which is 2.3.7 that's fine debug mode is enabled which basically means if i make it false and run that command again it does tell me that you know this is off so these are some things which you would like to you know from time and again run on your production environment and quickly check you know that these flags are off right your environment is visible then this one is quite interesting which is it shows you the version of laravel that you have obviously you can go into your composer.json and look at the thing but yes it is 19.19 but then it is giving you the other information as well so this is 19.21 that's interesting so my okay because it is this arrow which means anything which is above 19.19 will come in the event of folder right we can it is allowed basically then obviously it gives me whether the maintenance mode is on my php version the url on which the application is running cache and drivers as well right so this is interesting i would say um, a lot of things are available as information quite easily now let me try to see if i can put up a database okay i think my name is not correct let me quickly go into the config file database database.sqlite my bad so i'll just create that file right and with this i think if we now execute this command again it does say that it is sqlite so the first thing that i would like to do to ensure that this is correct is run the migrate and yes it is working if i do refresh then also this is working and can you see you know, the same styling is being followed so a lot of these things does make you know the cli quite interesting all right so we saw the installation the about and obviously the migrations and stuff have changed the next thing that i would like to show you is if we do php artisan come down over here 
there's this command which I find very interesting which is model show so let's just run that model show let's understand what are the different parameters it expects so as you see is it says that the description is show information about an eloquent model which is fine usage will be model colon show options are like this and argument it expects the model to show fair enough let's do something like user and at this point it will say that displaying the model information requires the doctrine dbal package would you like to install it yes no and the default is yes well now this is a dependency not even a dev dependency so you need to understand whether you want it or not but dbal is fine it's a very common component or rather uh, composer package so you can definitely install it i'll do that i'll go ahead and do that okay that got installed and now if i run it again can you see it gives me quite a lot of information about the model and its attributes and also its relations so let's go quickly over this database it is detecting that i'm running sqlite the table is users if i have you know, something else it will understand that and then you have all the parameters or rather all the attributes of each column of your table or each attribute of your model if you, you know, like to call it in the object oriented way but okay this is in the end another table uh, columns right and then these are the relations which we have uh, associated with our model the other thing obviously is let's just say we do make model blog let's go inside here so now if if this model is present right i think i haven't created a migration so what happens if i do this so can you see it says there are no attributes there are no relations and the moment i create a migration so something like migration let's check the help i think it is create yes so create equals the table to be created right table will be blogs create blogs table all right so we can see inside the database we will have this migration in place if i quickly do something like foreign id user class and model show blog okay i think it is taking from the database so let's migrate fair enough and yes we can see these you know attributes are now coming in so it is not looking at the migration file but rather you know your actual database table so that means if if there are certain projects where you don't have migrations for any reason it i'm assuming it will still be able to pick that up because no one is stopping me from deleting these files and, and still it will be able to describe it let, let us actually try that once because i obviously understand it can happen because when i ran the initial thing the migration was present and and it still wasn't showing the attributes and then when i ran the migration it did right so the everything information is over here and one more thing which now comes out of the box and this is something which i have covered in one of my previous videos as well which is code formatting using pint but now you need to understand that pint comes with laravel out of the box so if you go to composer.json you will see laravel pint is now on version 1.0 and this is a dev dependency which is coming out of the box right now this is really really interesting why because i have already covered this in the video but it can definitely improve your code formatting abilities i'll try to show you how that works in a very small way for details you can look at my you know the other video but 
let's just say if I have something like this. Okay. Now, obviously, my VS code has some code formatting in place, which will stop it from. Hmm, that's weird. It's not working right now. Anyways, that's good. Because if I do something like blogs equals, let's just say blog all. Right. It should have actually formatted it. I don't know what happened. Maybe some configuration issue. But then return response something like this blogs 200 right if i have a code which is something like this now obviously there are certain things which are wrong for example this indentation shouldn't be like this i can create some errors over here and maybe i don't know something like that okay very bad badly formatted code but then because we have pent out of the box what i can do is run this command pint already comes with a lot of defaults which are designed specifically for laravel so you don't have to worry too much about it just execute this binary it will ex you know scan your code and automatically it said you know there are one two three and four four things which got corrected let's look at our code now this looks so beautiful and properly formatted because now the braces are in place the space got you know taken off and one interesting thing is yes you know there is a general trend I, I i'm not sure if it is psr but before the return statement there is always an empty line so that's something which got added if you see blank line before statement so yes that's how you know things are formatted I think generally speaking these are quite interesting improvements on the artisan um, console interface right the interface looks so great there is this status command there is this model uh, description I mean describing describing a model right which are I feel very helpful for a developer I have spent so much time looking at you know the configurations and sometimes the config inside the tinker to understand what configurations the current application is running and these information through the cli can really help a lot so do let me know what are your views about these new improvements and yeah if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel